Hi kids! Uh, we are still in our series called Living God's Way. Over the past two sessions, we've heard from the person John, who told us that in this tug of war of God and the world, actually God has already won because of Jesus and because of that we can live like winners. Uh, last time we heard about James telling us about our words being like a spiritual x-ray. Uh, if we are wholehearted about Jesus, our words should reflect that. Well, today we'll be looking at our minds and we're going to be hearing from a really famous person in the Bible. He wrote the book of Romans. His name is Paul. That's right. The Apostle Paul wrote the book of Romans. A little bit about this book. It is not five chapters long, unfortunately. It is 16 chapters and it's quite a big book. Uh, but today we're going to be just looking at two verses uh, from this book. Um, the whole book of Romans is actually Paul trying to tell the Roman church uh, that they can be proud or unashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God for salvation for anyone who believes. Anyone who believes. That's why they can be proud of the gospel. Paul spends a big part of the letter telling the Romans that Jesus has already done many, many things for them because of God's mercy. Jesus paid for their sin, Jesus fixed their relationship with God, Jesus gave them new life, Jesus helps them to have joy even in suffering. And nothing can separate them from God's love. Now in Romans 12, Paul tells them how to live in response of what Jesus has already done. So let's look together at Romans 12 verses 1 to 2. Brothers and sisters, God has shown you his mercy. So I am asking you to offer up your bodies to him while you are still alive. Your bodies are a holy sacrifice that are pleasing to God. When you offer your bodies to God, you are worshipping him in the right way. Don't live the way the world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Then you will be able to test what God wants for you. And you will agree that what he wants is right. His plan is good and pleasing and perfect. Well, the first thing I want us to see is that God has shown you mercy. He started first. It's nothing we do, but God first showed us mercy. He did everything to save those who believe in him. Now that we are saved, how should we live? Let's look at verse 2 together where Paul tells us our response should be to worship rightly. Don't live the way this world lives. Let your way of thinking be completely changed. Then you will be able to test what God wants for you. And you will agree that what he wants is right. His plan is good and pleasing and perfect. Well, don't be boxed in by the world, kids. The world wants us to be boxed in. It tells us what to think. It tells us how to feel. It tells us what is right or wrong. It tells us we need loads of money. It tells us fame and popularity are good. It tells us we need a high paying job. And because we need a high paying job, we need really, really good results. And because of really, really good results, we need to study really hard and we need to go for these tuition classes and we need to put all our identity onto uh, what grades we have in school. Uh, tells us that we are the most important people in this world. When we listen to the world, we are boxed in by the world. Paul says we should instead have our thinking be completely changed. Did you hear that? How changed are we to be? A little bit changed? Half changed? No, completely changed. Well, this is what Paul is saying. Think outside the box of this world. Test what God wants for you. Paul is confident that you will agree that what he wants is right and that his plan is good and pleasing and perfect. What are some ways that God is showing you that the world boxes you in. What about some music that we're listening to that helps 
us listen to this world and boxes us in? What about the YouTube channels that we are watching? What does it do to our minds to box them into the ways of this world? What does our school say about success and money? Do they box us into how the world thinks? What does God say about these things? How is the Bible saying something different? Spend some time today thinking about whether we are living in the box of this world or we are letting the Bible completely change the way we think about the purpose of our life, our identity and significance and what it means to be successful in this life and the eternal life. Let us pray. Father God, will you help us uh, not to listen to this world and be boxed in, but Lord, help us to have our minds completely transformed. Uh, Lord, will you help us to live and worship rightly because of what Jesus has already done for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.